Users can swipe our cards left or right to mark them as being guessed correctly or not. But there's no visual distinction between the two directions. Borrowing controls from dating apps like Tinder will make swiping right good, they guessed the answer correctly, and swiping left bad, they were wrong. We'll solve this problem in two ways. For a phone with default settings, we'll make the card become colored green or red before fading away. But if the user enabled the setting, differentiate without color, we'll leave the cards as white and instead show some extra UI over our background. Let's start with the first pass on the cards themselves. Right now, our card view is created with this background. We're gonna replace that with some more advanced code. We'll give it a background of the same rounded rectangle, except in green or red, depending on the gesture movement. Then we'll make the white fill from above fade out as the drag movement gets larger. First, the background. Add this directly before the shadow modifier. Background, rounded rectangle, Corner radius 25, style continuous. Dot fill, if offset width is greater than zero, then color dot green, otherwise color dot red. As for the white fill opacity, this is gonna be similar to the opacity modifier we added previously, except now we'll use one minus one fiftieth of the gesture width, rather than two minus the width. This creates a really nice effect. We used two minus earlier, because it meant the card would have to move at least 50 points before fading away. But for the card fill, we're going to use one minus, so it starts becoming colored straight away. Change your existing fill modifier like this. We'll add opacity, one minus, double, abs, offset dot width, divided by 50. If you run the app now, you'll see the cards blend from white to either red or green, then start to fade out. It's awesome. However, as nice as our code is, it won't work well for folks with red-green color blindness. They'll see the brightness of the cards change, but it won't be clear which side is which. To fix this, we're going to add an environment property to track whether we should be using color for this purpose or not. Then disable the red-green effect when that property is true. Start by adding this new property to card view before the existing properties. At environment, accessibility, differentiate without color, var, differentiate without color. Now we can use that for both the fill and background of our rounded rectangle to make sure we fade out the white smoothly. It's important we use it for both because as the card fades out, the background color will start to bleed through the fill. So replace your current rounded rectangle code with this. So for our fill, I'll check whether differentiate without color is true. If it is, I'll do color dot white. If it isn't, we'll have color dot white with the opacity. And for the background, again, I'll check differentiate without color. If that's true, we'll do nil. Otherwise, I'll round the rectangle. So, when in a default configuration, our cards will fade to green or red. But when differentiate without color is enabled, that won't be used. Instead, we have to provide some extra UI and content view to make it clear which side's positive and which is negative. Earlier, we made a very particular structure of stacks in content view. We had a Z stack, then a V stack, then another Z stack. That first Z stack, the outermost one, allows us to have our background and card stack overlapping. And we're also gonna put some buttons in that stack so users can see which side is good. First, add this property to content view. At environment, accessibility, differentiate without color. Var, differentiate without color. Now add these new views directly after the V stack. If differentiate without color, V stack, spacer, H stack, image with the system name xmark.circle, and add some padding, then give it a slightly transparent black background, and clip it to be a circle. Then a spacer with another image using the check mark circle. Again with some padding. Again with a slightly transparent black background. And again a circle. Then with that whole H stack, I'll make the foreground color white with a large title font. 
and some padding. So that creates another V stack. This time starting with a spacer, so the images inside the stacks are pushed to the bottom of the screen. And with that condition around them all, they'll only appear when differentiate without color is enabled. So most of the time our UI stays clear. All this extra work matters. It makes sure users get a great experience regardless of their needs. And that's what we should always be aiming for.